Welcome back everybody, it's easy. Early morning video. This is the last of the war between well not between but with damage Inc. and GB Elite. Uh had a 50-50 war for those of you that don't know. We had uh it was a great war. We didn't really get the challenger that we wanted. Uh but even though we didn't get the challenge we wanted, it was close until the last couple hours. Just because of uh, the attack strategy that we used, we attacked from the bottom up, which actually took quite a while for get to get everyone in. So they were in the lead the entire war, or it was close, the entire war, uh, until the last hour, then we, we blew ahead of them by like 20 or more. Uh, this first attack is from Roop Dog. Roop Dog was one of the, one of the better attacks from damage. He, he used the max bowler attack. So, uh, as, you, as you're watching this attack here, just want to say a few last words for GB Elite. Uh, want to thank them for letting us fight with them. This was a great experience for us. Said that in the last video. Just want to say that again. Uh, hopefully, just you now you see what's going on here. I'm gonna break my phone. This thing has gone off 50 times. Great experience for us. Hopefully, it was a good experience for them. Uh, the plan is that we're gonna have another one this weekend. I'm, I probably won't do three videos for every war. But we're kind of excited on this one. We will have recaps from every war that we do if we do any more with GB Elite. Um, we're looking for some other partners. I have another clan that I was in just like I was with GB and they are uh, another really really strong clan. So maybe we might try to get a couple of those guys in. Um, I noticed that we had a couple of uh, other guys in our clan that weren't regulars that kind of clashed with them a little bit. Just because you know these are we had a lot of really good players and you know everyone doesn't always think exactly the same way. Oh well. Still had a great time. Um, it's a, you know for anyone who's been in one clan for a long time and, and don't know this, you'll be surprised how similar other clans are. These guys were very similar to us. A lot of guys had the same perspective on war. Uh, we may have approached it a little differently, but they had the same perspective on the, the clan family. They did a lot for each other. Uh, really relied on each other a lot. So that was a really good experience for us. This one right here is Buster Cherry. Now we got. Now you'll notice that th these attacks up top, almost all of these attacks were ground based, based on the the, the base that they had to, uh, to attack. Almost all of them were bowler attacks or bowler witch attacks, which we call the bitch. P pretty fitting. Um, notice that there wasn't a lot of Laloon, which is something that damage w leans on a little more in our own personal wars. But at the top of the, at the very top, you know, we still have a hard time with the Town Hall 10 uh, Laloon. So something we're working on, we didn't see a lot of that this war. We did see it in the mids, like in the in the 10 to 25 or 30 range, we saw a lot more Laloon. But in the top 10, you didn't see many at all. These were bowler, bowler, bowler. Um, and, well, okay, let me rephrase that. We did have plenty of them, but they weren't for three stars. I just recorded the three star attacks. These bowler attacks, you know they they got uh they had a huge buff and they were really really strong and then they had to they had to nerf them down because they didn't want the mass bowlers just to wipe everything like they did the mass miners and the mass witches but in town hall 10 they're still the probably the strongest ground troop you, you put a few witches in there with them between four and eight and uh you have a recipe for disaster for any base you're attacking um a few tricks that i've learned with the bowlers is that uh, their attack is really strong and what makes it strong is the range not necessarily the DPS so if you don't get them around the base they're, they're also pretty fragile considering just all things considered so you either have to have healers on them or you have to move them around the base really fast and you'll do that with the, with the jump spells I would suggest if you're gonna use a bowler attack to bring at least two jump spells um, replace one of those rage spells with a jump spell and you, you'll really appreciate what happens because if you put if you bring two or three rage spells instead of the jumps You'll raise the bowlers up and they may also because they have such long range uh, Let's say if they're in the center compartment. They may um, Target seven or eight different buildings from this from the core and now you have bowlers that are separated And they are just attacking in every single direction and then you'll get caught up in the core and you won't make it out of the core You bring the jump spell and instead of uh, instead of them targeting other buildings from the core, they'll jump out of the core towards other buildings, so it just works out a lot better that way. Alright, this next one is from, I don't know how to say it, it's either Castle or Castile. Sorry about it if I mispronounce your name. 
Uh, another bowler attack. Another bowler witch attack. Bowler witches and healers. Very, very popular up top. Uh, and there's a reason for it. They three star like crazy with it. And this base right here. I've said this a uh, hundred times. And I'll say it. This is 101. If you want to defend. You don't build a square inside a square inside a square. Um, now if you have some really good way to mani manipulate troops. To go through the squares in a certain way. And maybe run them over every trap at one time. And. Uh, you know that that might be one thing, but believe me. I've seen these bases don't stand up You you won't see uh, If there is a base like this regardless if it's town hall 10 town hall 11 It's gonna be three start at the end of a good war They'll never live through a whole war and you'll see look look there's two jump spells those two jump spells eliminated every wall in the entire base uh, they, they can they didn't have to jump through any walls to get through I mean they didn't have to break through any walls I think they broke through the other the last back end wall But you know by that time they didn't have to fight any walls at all So all of that upgrading and you know how long it takes to upgrade walls all that work you've done upgrading your walls for a year <clears throat> It's all it's all for nothing if you don't build enough compartments to, to force them to have to break through something you know, people will bring two jump spells, and if you only have five or six compartments, those two jump spells will cover every single compartment. Now, I'm struggling this morning. I don't have any coffee yet. I mean, this is this is like dire straits for me. I drink coffee all day long, but we're out. I'm not going to get in until I go to work this morning. It's like 6 a.m. This is dedication. If you want to be dedicated, go on and do a video at 5.45 a.m. Do it for you guys. All right, this is Karma. Karma is an, he's an awesome attacker. I think it's a he again. I don't know. I mean, I've talked to all these guys, and I you know I know of a few of the females. And some of the ladies you can't help but know. You can tell whenever you can if you're ever new in a clan, you can tell who the females are because every uh, young man in the clan is panting over them. <laughs> And I'm not saying that, that that's what happened in GB Elite because they're a bunch of uh, um, more mature players. But it's still pretty funny. I've been in a lot of different clans and I can always tell who the girls are. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Karma d does something new. It was a bowler attack. And he uh, uses two jump spells with the bowler attack. And, and you know, there's not a lot of play-by-play uh, -play for me at this point uh, in these attacks. Um, I mean, I could. But... I'm just bringing you the best of the the top end of the war and uh, a few things that you'll notice now this base right here had a bunch of different compartments so what he did is he entered the base in two different two different locations and he sent those bowlers around the outside now whenever you have a base that has multiple compartments like this this is when you want to send the healers and the bowlers or the healer and the queen walk around the outside of the base because now what you've done is you've literally taken 25 or 30 percent of the base away from the core because the bowlers can reach in that you know they can reach in five or six tiles and if you just take five or six tiles away from the whole base you have a you have a much smaller band that you have to take out of the middle and you know that it's 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 not super tricky to keep those bowlers on the outside you just have to time it right with the core troops another great attack from karma uh the, another six star machine from gb elite and this is Bend Over. This is one of the, another mini account. And you'll notice Bend Over is number 40. And uh, no, no, no warden there. Wow, surprised. <laughs> but does have the war, does have the bowler. So it's a Town Hall 10 at number 40. And uh, again, these guys have done a really good job of um, of carefully upgrading their defenses and carefully upgrading their troops to give them to maximize their advantages in war and they the the, the proof is just right there on the record you, you have 380 something wins uh, so regardless of your opinion on how people upgrade or or how how people are doing things if you're looking at the wins and losses with 380 wins they're doing something right you might not think it's right or, or wrong or whatever, but when I'm looking at a clan, are they doing something right? Well, they have 380 wins. They must be doing something right. What are they doing? Well, they're upgrading their bases in a very specific manner to maximize their their uh, their offensive troops 
and they're very selective on in the, in the way they up, upgrade their defenses just to again just to maximize their um, their, their potency on offense so awesome war GB elite damage Inc. we're gonna do another one this weekend it was a real pleasure for us our guys came back into our clan and we're just buzzing with, with excitement uh, can't wait for the next one so uh, appreciate everyone I know there's a bunch of videos appreciate everyone for watching them all until uh, next time, it's been easy. Take care.